An end effector is the device at the end of a robotic arm, like one of these that you see here. Oftentimes, end effectors consist of some kind of tool. For example, these robots have welding end effectors that allow them to join metal components in the manufacturing process. End effectors can also be used to grab objects and move them from place to place. Collectively, these end effectors are called grippers and come in many different forms. They include two-finger gripper. A two-finger gripper is a passive end effector. This means that it can hold parts but cannot manipulate or actively use them. The two-finger gripper applies a pinching pressure to an object in order to move it. Suction. A suction gripper is another type of passive end effector. It uses a vacuum to adhere to and move objects from place to place. Three-finger gripper. A three-finger gripper is an active end effector. The parts in its grasp can be manipulated or actively used. They are more dexterous than passive end effectors, giving them more precision and the ability to complete fine motor tasks. There are many other types of grippers and end effectors. The type of gripper that is used varies based on the application. One of the most important areas in the design of robotic systems is the design of the end effector. As technology advances and automation becomes even more prevalent in manufacturing, becoming familiar with end effectors and how they are used becomes increasingly important.